Do you ever find yourself in a situation where you wonder, how the heck did I end up here? Well, I have, and you're looking at it. So what we're gonna do, Marty, we're gonna ease on up and we're gonna make a move, all right? I'm gonna keep that light on him. All right, easy, easy, circle back around, easy, easy. Now, I'd be lying if I told you I wasn't just a little freaked out right now. There you go, yes, sir. Got him, yes, baby! Sir. Yeah, boy! For Academy Sports and Outdoors, I'm Marty Smith, and this is Traditions. Earlier that day, I met Kevin Peel, a good old Louisiana boy who agreed to show me the nuances of down-home Cajun cooking at his buddy's restaurant in the heart of tiger country. We're gonna start, first of all, we got our pot, man. We got a little outdoor gourmet. I think that's a local brand too, man. We picked that up over there at Academy. This is Kevin Peel. We're getting ready to cook up some crawfish. You want that thing going like SpaceX, man. Like you get ready to launch something into another stratosphere, dude. We're proud of our culture, our people, where we've come from, the things that make up that culture, if that makes sense. Because it's, I don't think you can really define it because it's just a conglomeration. It's just an assortment of so many things piled into one state, the state of Louisiana. And that's really what sums up this culture. So we're gonna start with the basics, man. First thing you're gonna do is we're gonna introduce our potatoes, but we've got some prep work to do ahead of that. The food in this state, it has, a, has had a global impact. How would you describe the importance and the impact of food in Louisiana? To sum up the importance of food in Louisiana, foremost, we always look for an excuse to cook. Look, man, I can tell you right now, it doesn't matter, man. It could be baby boy's first week birthday. Uh, we're celebrating his month. Uh, Tommy just got a new pair of shoes. We're cooking, man. Baptisms, christenings, graduations. It does, look, those are great, but what are we gonna eat? Who's coming over? Let's get the family and friends over. Look, we're gonna eat. You're gonna get that cayenne and that pepper, that paprika, you're gonna get all that smell start coming up to your nasals. Come over here, stick that nose. Oh yeah. Wow. You got some of that? <laughs> Woo! Woo! Yes, man, sir. you got a leap, man. That's good right there. That will open you up, boy. That's what it's about. <laughs> there is some pepper in there, yes, baby. Indeed, sir. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Another really cool part of Louisiana culture is love of the outdoors. So many Louisianans love to be out in the mix. Mm -hmm. What's that like? You don't have an option, man. Now watch these suck, watch them squirm. That's some good crawfish Look right there. Him. That's some good wow. crawfish right there. Look, I'm gonna tell you, having raised two boys at three years old, man, grabbing frogs, we were walking ditches at night, grabbing snakes. That starts at a young age. Red swamp crawfish is what they call them. That's generally one of the two species that are harvested in the state of Louisiana. And then before you know it, they're not with you. They're doing, they're starting to progress out there on their own. That's, that's a nice one. That's a nice one right there. The weekends are big. You know, everyone's going through the grind of working during the week. Then typically on a Friday night, it's surrounded by high school football. Yeah, man. Once high school football's wrapping up, you're trying to figure out how you're going to hunt the next morning. Once the hunt's over with, then you got to figure out what time's LSU play. Woo! Oh, yeah. Look at them. There they go. You got cooking. You got Friday night football. You got LSU, you got your morning hunt, your evening hunt, and you, and you can't mess those up, man. So what you're telling me is we need to get Coach O on the horn, and we need to tell him every game needs to be a 3.30 kickoff. That's a good one. But Saturday not... night in Death Valley is unlike anything else in sport, period. That's correct. The folks in Louisiana take the four F's of life very seriously. Faith, family, football, and food. This looks delicious, I can't wait. How many of these have you done? But that right there, about 43 tons have gone through that pot right what? there. What? In excess of 80,000 pounds through that pot in two years. That's correct. 43 tons in two 43 years? 43 tons. You could tell. Look at this thing. It's a battle axe, Yeah, dude. it's definitely Look taking a whooping. Well, I can't wait to taste your latest effort, which I guess is somewhat my effort. I was going to say, this is us, man. This so is our let's off Let's put effort. this thing on the table, man. Let's do it, baby. Hey, let's, let's do get this. it ready. All right, man. All right. How would you describe it? What is the passion for LSU football in this place? If it's that seven o'clock game, watch out, because the tailgating starts uh, at dawn. At dawn. And it is hundreds of acres wide and deep. So by the time game time rolls around. It's lathered. 
All right, that's perfect. Oh, that's all right. We're gonna lose some. That's part of a good dump right there. Yeah, yeah baby. Buddy. Come on. And when you know when they're playing Alabama, and I'm standing on the sideline before the game, mm. and everybody from OBJ to Leonard Fournette to Honey Badger, they're all back, man. Everybody comes back because they want to. I've never seen anything like the 2018 game standing on the sideline before the game. It right. was a who's who. Everybody from OBJ to Vince Vaughn was there. <laughs> right, right. It was absolutely bananas, man. Yep. It was energy. There's so much energy in it. I have a distinct feeling these crawfish have plenty of energy too. They look fantastic. So let's dig in, see how we did on my very first crawfish bowl. All right, it's all over but to eat. Just watch me first. As you come up with the head, you pinch that head. Woo, oh, that's what you're looking for. You're gonna get in there, you're gonna get some fat, <laughs> you're gonna get that juice, you're gonna get that nasal, it's gonna clear you out, man. So pinch and- So look, right here, two fingers. Right here, that finger oh, and that top tongue. and bottom? Just like, just like this, right okay, here. Okay, 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 yep, yep, got it. All perfect. Right. And you're gonna bring it up, and as you squeeze it, suck it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, Woo! indeed. Yes, indeed. Oh, cheers. Oh, my friend. God, that's delicious. That's how you do it right there. Something else I learned about Cajun country. A Louisiana delicacy is the fried frog leg. Just about the time your belly's so stuffed you think you can't eat one more bite, you find another critter, and you fry him up too. Mm -hmm. There we oh, go. Perfect. Veteran move. Remove our hats. Mama would want me to take off my hat. I'll just get in there like a chicken leg, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Man, that's delicious. Mm. It's more flavorful than chicken. It is. It's just got a little different taste to it. Yeah. These are phenomenal. Where do you get them? <laughs> Dude, you don't even want to know. How serious are you? I'm dead serious. Well, I'll tell you what. If you have flexibility in your schedule. I got all night. If you've got all night, I got the spot. Tonight, I'm going to introduce you to a frog hunt. Let's go. Let's do it. Hey, give it to me, baby. And that, my friends, is how I ended up here in the swamps of Louisiana, hunting frogs out of a John boat with my bare hands. All right, we've made our way out here to the swamp, son. I hear them hollering at us. They're they ready. they ready, man. All right, they're ready. I'm ready. We got the boat in the water. What we're going to do, Marty, we're going to start ease on up, and we're going to make a move, all right? I'm going to keep that light on them. All right. When you feel good, you give them that death grip. I missed him. That's OK. Hey, hey, slight right right there, slight right. Give it a little gas. All right, easy, easy. Right here, buddy. Take a poke at him a little earlier. There you go, yes, sir. Got yeah, him, Yes, baby. sir, baby. <laughs> yeah, boy! <laughs> yeah, sir. Yes, sir, man. How you doing there, Chief? That is a good frog, brother. So what am I looking at here, Man, Kevin? I'll tell you what, that's a good mature bullfrog, Marty. For the first one, that's a good frog, man. That is strong. Congratulations, man. What a great poke. Thank you, sir. What a beauty, man. It's an amazing culture down here. I already knew that. What I didn't know is just how much fun it all is. Like I said earlier, the four Fs drive this state. Faith, family, football, and food. I guess it's actually five Fs. Add frog into the list. Those are the things that make Louisiana tick. Right over here on the left, y'all, right here. See him? See him? I got my light on him right there. All right, here we go. All right, Marty, coming in on you, baby. Good quick hand. Scoot up on that bow. We got you, brother. Go get him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hold him tight. Hold him tight. There you go. Nice one, dude. That dude's a little bigger, isn't he? He's a hog. <laughs> he is a hog. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Come here now. He's a hog. Dude, boy, that's a beauty. Look at him. <laughs> wow. Hey, give me some, boy. Hey. That is fun. It don't get much better, That's man. a good time. It does not get much better. There is beauty in simplicity, and there is wonder in the wilderness. If you didn't know better, you'd swear you're on another planet out here. Grab it easy on him early. Yes. Without a spotlight, you can't yes. see your hand in front of your face. I hear you, Bubba. I hear you. Double room, double room. No phones, no distractions, no deadlines. 
just a very unique and beautiful brand of togetherness and fellowship.